back with some wicked tips and tricks on the Apple Watch SE2. And even though this is the cheapest Apple Watch, it's crazy just how similar it is to the Series 8 and even the Ultra. Take a look at this. So some of Apple Watch's best features are still on the SE2, like quick actions. In accessibility, if you turn quick actions on, this allows you to use a couple of cool gestures like double pinching your fingers to answer a call or double pinching to decline the call. This also works with timers and a bunch of other things. There's also assistive touch, which opens up a whole world of different hand gestures and you can actually customize it a lot. For the best customization settings, make sure activation gesture is set to none. Then you can scroll up and decide what gesture you want to customize. So now you can choose whatever action you want to have happen when you clench your fist. So for example, I chose Apple Pay and now when I clench my fist, it opens up and I can just tap to pay. And then for double clench, I suggest you check out motion pointer because as soon as you clench twice, it opens up this mouse pointer where you can control it by rotating your wrist. When you stop and hover on an app, it'll open it up. And then another useful feature right at the bottom of accessibility is accessibility shortcut. If you choose control nearby devices, when you triple click the crown, it'll instantly want to connect to your iPhone. And now you can do a whole bunch of things on your phone from your Apple Watch. And definitely one of my favorite is controlling media. You can adjust the volume, pause or play your media all while you sit back and relax. I'm pretty sure you guys know that Apple have a ton of different watch faces, but what a lot of people don't know is just how much you can customize them on the watch. Kaleidoscope, for example, has an unbelievable amount of patterns and designs to choose from, and it even moves like this throughout the day. With stripes, you can decide how many you want, choose a color for every single one, and then even decide on the orientation. With the stripes watch face, you can actually color code it to what you're wearing, and with Kaleidoscope, you can even choose your own picture and turn them into patterns. This is so cool, you've got to try it out. But if you want something even more custom, you can download this app called Watch Faces by Facer, then open the app on your phone, and now you can choose from so many different custom watch faces, and some of them are on another level. Once you choose to add a watch face, it'll instantly appear on your Apple Watch, and depending on which one you use, you can customize even further. But if you want the ultimate custom look, definitely check out some other watch bands, because when you pair them together, it is so satisfying. Satisfying. If you want, I've put a link to my favorite watch straps down below, so check them out. Now here's something so cool you can try with your watch right now. If you tap on settings and then clock and scroll down to speak time, once you turn that on, check out what you can do with your two fingers. 2.19 p.m. But if it's the Mickey Mouse watch face, it's 2.32. <laughs> this even freaking works with Minnie Mouse. It's 2.32. There's still another way you can tell the time other than looking at it called taptic time. If this is on, when you hold your two fingers on the screen, hot damn, it vibrates the time. Then another feature I know so many people love is chimes. Once you turn this on, you can choose what sound you want. Then as it reaches the hour, it gives a nice little It's kind of like having a cuckoo clock on your wrist because it'll actually make a sound on every hour. Now, let me show you something unbelievably useful that you can do on the Apple Watch. Under the Find Devices application, if you tap on your iPhone and scroll right to the bottom, you'll see Lost Mode. Once you turn this on, it'll ask for your phone number, but once you click OK, it instantly locks your iPhone so there's no access and displays that contact number. Genius. You can also scroll up and tap on Play Sound if you think your phone is nearby and want to quickly find it. Believe it or not, you can even track air tags all from your Apple Watch without touching your phone. All you do is head on over to the air tags application. It looks like this. In there, you can select the air tag you're trying to track, see it on a map, or once again, click play sound and start listening out for that sneaky air tag. And you know, find your goods. You can even share your location with other family, friends, or contacts by going right to the bottom of the Find People app, or you can find anyone who shared their location with you. Within the Find My Devices app, I'd also suggest you turn on this feature called Notify When Left Behind. That way, if you forget any one of your Apple devices, you'll get a notification. Oh, silly me, gotta go. So all these features make it pretty hard to lose your stuff. I mean, this watch is a tracking machine. 
So I've mentioned this app before on the Series 8 and Ultra, but in case you didn't know, WatchTube is an application you can download to your Apple Watch so that you can watch YouTube videos. It is honestly so damn cool and you can search for any of your favorite YouTubers or video topics and once you've found the video you want to watch, you can adjust the volume using the crown. If you tap on the bottom, you can scrub the video or if you double tap with one finger, you can zoom in, double tap again to zoom out. So that app is super fun to play with and try out, but you can also get TikTok on your Apple Watch and even Instagram. So I mean, I don't know about you guys, but that is pretty nifty. But so are these nifty tips. Did you know that within your iPhone settings, if you scroll down to Face ID and Passcode and make sure these settings are on, if you scroll down, you will see Unlock iPhone with Apple Watch. Once you turn this on, anytime you try to unlock your iPhone and maybe it doesn't work, your Apple Watch will do it for you. The same applies to a MacBook. If you want this feature, you can turn it on in settings. Then when you open up the lid, it'll unlock. Nifty. The Apple Watch SE can also give you some really important reminders. So within the health app under medication, you can scan any medication using the camera. It'll bring up all the important information. And once you place in the frequency as well as time of your medication, not only will your Apple Watch send you a reminder, but you can also log that it's been taken on your watch. Nifty. Then this feature a lot of people thought was only on the Ultra but nope, it's also on the SE. Within the Compass app, if you tap on that icon, you can set a waypoint. A waypoint is for saving a location, like where you park, for example, or a monument. And when you want to find it again, you just zoom out on the Compass app, tap the waypoint you created, like monument, and then just follow the prompts on the screen until you find your way back. I mean, so nifty. Okay, comment down below how many of you knew you could play games on your Apple Watch. Some of these games like Snake IO are so addictive and are also surprisingly easy to play on your watch. With Snake, you just use the crown to eat up as many dots as possible. You also get this game, Fall Down Mini, which is equally fun and stressful. The goal is to make sure your ball keeps falling down and doesn't get stuck on a platform. You just use the crown to move your ball and it's really surprisingly difficult. Honestly, there are so many different games to play like hit the island or loop. So also let me know if you end up finding any favorites. I mean, <laughs> this is so fun to play. And if you manage to beat my score, let me know. So check this out. If you're ever like me and in bed, but then your Apple Watch screen turns on, you can just place your palm over the screen and it'll go to sleep. Speaking of sleep, just like the Series 8 and Ultra, the SE also tracks all your sleep patterns throughout the night and gives you some useful stats. But if you're not one to sleep with your Apple Watch on, then definitely head into general settings, scroll down to nightstand mode, and make sure you toggle this on. So now when it's busy charging at night, you can just tap the table and bam, it'll wake up and tell you the time. Even though the SE has an amazing battery, if you swipe up to control center and tap on battery percentage, then toggle on low power mode, right at the bottom, you can actually decide on how many days you want it on for. So you can choose from one, two, or three days, and when it's on, you'll know by this little circle. Theater mode is also really cool and also in the control center. Once you turn this on, if you want to discreetly check the time during a movie or at night, just scroll the crown, check the time and scroll it back down. And even though this is the Apple Watch SE, it is still water resistant up to 50 meters. So you can go down with this bad boy. So it's pretty crazy that this is the cheapest Apple Watch, but you still get all those features that are nearly identical to the Series 8 and even the Ultra. Amazing. But you can see for yourself by checking out my Ultra video. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Toodles.